Yeah, well, I think there really is no one size fits all approach. Of course, it's different to every business. Um, and when it comes to sustainability, especially with any area that kind of talks about consumption, obviously, it's not black and white at all. And as much as um, you know, for one business, what's more sustainable might be less so for another business. Um, and I think that's really, really important to bear in mind that, you know, they're, if you're running a small business and it's a really important time of year for you, especially coming up to gifting season um, and you're competing against much bigger companies, it's not, you know, I, I think what's really important is not shaming smaller businesses and more sustainable businesses for getting involved in that. Now, with that being said, I think it's very important to, you um, kind of define the parameters in which you are going to get involved in something like Black Friday. Um, what we do at Tarlow and Shreddy is we create a, we created uh, three years ago a Black Friday pr pledge. So that was essentially saying like what we are going to do and what we're not going to do. And what that allows is the transparency for a consumer to then be able to say, do you know what? Yes, I am going to buy or no, I'm not going to buy. We do that because we think it's really important that it's not, I think when you shame sustainable businesses out of participating in any discounting time, it's very, very difficult then to create a landscape where sustainable business can play any part in changing these industries. Because, you know, say when you look at fashion, of course, sustainable fashion is always going to be to a certain amount an oxymoron. It's always going to be contradictory. But at the same time, in order for the mass market and the mainstream to be better, there need to be options for companies who produce more ethically and more sustainably, even if that's not perfect, because sustainable fashion will never be perfect. So I think one of the most important things, um, and as I say, it will be different for every business, but is to really establish what what makes you feel comfortable as a business, what, make, what furthers your mission. I think anything that compromises a mission definitely isn't the right thing to be doing. Um, but for example, at Tala, our aim is to disrupt the activewear mass market we want people who usually shop mass market activewear brands to start shopping better to start thinking about sustainability and ethics um and we're completely transparent about the ways that we do and don't do that in order for people to be able to i guess facilitate just the conversation and talking about it and thinking about it a bit more so with that in mind it furthers our mission to be able to offer 10 to 30 percent discounts on black friday dependent on the product um and that is because we also completely understand that there are gifts to buy and if we and um, you know leggings to replace and also in terms of making sustainability accessible that needs to be a price point that you know black friday will be a time where certain, like the only time where certain people can access certain products and therefore we do think that it is really important to create an offering around this time but re be really clear about what that is and what that isn't um and also within the same breath to make sure that we are educating on overconsumption as well to ensure that people you know I guess just education on things like panic buying and planning your buying and all of those things that can make you have a more sustainable Black Friday. But I personally don't believe that kind of shaming people completely out of engaging in consumption as a whole, like buying gifts, is necessarily going to fix the whole market. I'd rather there be better options within the marketplace. So for those small businesses, I'd say transparency around the way you engage, but also small businesses are always going to be far more sustainable than larger businesses. So if it's an important time of year for you, engage in it in the way you want to um, and just be clear about why you're doing that and what you are and are not doing.